what's going on guys welcome back to another video so tomorrow is going to be race day number two on the new setup and today we're going to do a little bit of prep work i am actually on my way to a performance shop i actually live a couple miles from a pretty nice performance shop they don't specialize uh in evos mainly in ls's and v8s and whatnot so um, haven't had any work over there, but they carry uh, pretty much everything. They they got um, ethanol 1R, which is basically a aftermarket full E85. Um, I'm not a chemist. I'm not going to pretend to be one, but basically it's it's pure E85 at its finest level. And from the research that I've done and people that I've talked to. Um, this stuff is the real deal. So basically I've seen people that have gained in upwards of 70 wheel horsepower in just this this ethanol. But um, that is the shop. It's called Majestic Motorsports. I'll be busting a UE and then heading in there. I'll take you guys on a little journey. I'll try to see if I can record some stuff in there too. Here we are. Look at the size of this thing. Here's my fist. nitrous heaven and probably the coolest thing billet 2j fucking sick and the usuals All right, guys, made it back home, and here it is. So first things first, correction, it's not the R. I ended up going with the S. So the difference, they have one ethanol R, and then they also got one ethanol S. So the S is 85% content. The R is 92%, um, and that 112 is the octane rating. So that's what that is. Um, came with some decals, pretty cool. And then I ended up uh, grabbing one of these. I'm eventually gonna go ahead and convert all these cheap little Walmart ones to the VP racing ones. These are a little bit pricey, they're like 35 bucks. Um, all together, this was $129. So this stuff is not cheap by any means. And it's definitely not something I'm gonna be doing on a regular basis. I think from time to time I will uh, track days and stuff like that. Just when I want a little bit more power and the car to run a little bit better, so. What's going on guys? As you can clearly see, it's the next day and we got the Evo ready. I didn't want to bore you with uh, putting on the drag radials and all that stuff. You guys have already seen that. So we're ready, we got the car warmed up. It is a lot warmer than it was last week when it ran. So it's probably like mid seventies right now compared to fifties. Um, yes or last week so this should be interesting so on a good note that means that it'll be warmer out maybe more traction with the tires but also um, obviously the the hotter it is the worse it is for these engines especially with heat soak and all that stuff so we'll see how it does uh, I'm getting ready to head out there right now stay tuned for more Got here because it's about a 40 minute drive over here. I didn't 
I didn't want to waste any of it so yeah we'll see how it does um, as you can clearly see right now I'm sitting at about 70.7 percent content we'll see how that goes up I'm only going to use about a half so two and a half gallons of, of that stuff and we'll see how it does I'm gonna pour it in as soon as uh, we go ahead and park here so stand by for more all right we're here Luke was here had to bribe him to come out here but he's here got uh went ahead and poured about two gallons uh two gallons of this stuff uh it went up a little bit i'll show you guys here in a bit but right now i'm gonna go ahead and lower the tire pressure i think i'm gonna go i'm not gonna go full force i think i'm gonna go about so it's at 35 right now i think i'm gonna go 20 and see how that does and then we'll, we'll kind of take it from there So I'm stage, not with anybody. Looks like uh, today's gonna be an easy day getting passes. But um, I did end up lowering the front tires another five psi, just because I didn't uh, I didn't feel comfortable. I don't know. I just it just didn't look lower. So I ended up lowering that. And look at our new ethanol content. So this has raised it almost by three. And I only put like a gallon and a half. So. Um, yeah, so pretty good. So, yeah, guys, about to uh, do my first pass. So, let's hope it's a good one. So here's the first run, same outcome, but we got there differently. So same shitty 60 foot, but the car actually bogged quite a bit, um, which has never done that before in first. So we're thinking might've lowered the PSI a little bit too much on the tires. So I went it up and raised it by five. So this is at around 23 and the rear is still at a 25. So we'll give that a shot, see how it does. It bogged hard. like. I was sitting there for a solid second or so, just sitting there. So hopefully this does the trick. So stay tuned for more.
All right, guys, second run. As you'll probably be able to tell, it was just a bad run. I, I bogged it hard. I uh, hit the rev limiter. It was just a, a shit show all around. So this is a, it's a really bad one. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do at this point, honestly. Uh, I tried to slip the clutch a little bit on that one, and it just bogged hard. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I'm going to go back to the right lane and see if I can kind of uh, smoothen things out. I'm not sure. trying to see if he can hook up so it sounded pretty good that time it's the gt350 he was talking about officially the next morning and my lovely Evo is officially a 10 second car in the books um, glad glad I decided to actually run that last one cuz after that second run you guys uh, just saw I just I was completely out of my element um, I don't like I don't like that left lane at all I don't like it I've never have I've probably ran at that track um, between this and the Gulf R, and I've actually, I ran this Civic over there. Don't even ask about it, but um, combined, I probably have about maybe 50 runs, maybe a little bit less, but right around 50, 50 runs, and I've never liked that left lane. I don't know what it is about it. I just get thrown off on it. So um, I tried it just because everybody was saying it was stickier. So I went ahead and went there. Uh, as it turns out, we thought for the second run that the tire pressure, we ended up raising it. In actuality, we didn't. So there's something wrong with that that gauge. So it's it's one of those little Amazon freaking gauge things. It works, it'll pump air, but it seems like it's one of these. But it seems like the actual gauge that tells you how much pressure is in there is actually screwed up. So that ended up um, not going the way that we thought. It ended up just being the same. PSI that it was, so which is why the car bogged twice actually during that second run. You'll you'll actually get to see it. Um, I tried to slip the clutch and it bogged once, and I let it go again and it bogged again. So 
we ended up going back to the drawing board, which I didn't get any footage of because I was already kind of upset about it. Um, and basically we raised the pressure by about six or seven pounds up front. And then I said, screw it and went on the right lane. And I don't know if you guys caught it on the GoPro footage, but I did a little mini burnout. I said, fuck it. Um, I did a mini burnout in the uh, burnout box. And I guess I cleaned off the tires well enough because that very next hit, it, the car just went. Um, little little weird. I don't think the car really liked that little freaking mini launch because the RPMs were stuck at like 3,000. I had to rev the car a couple times for it to drop. So it seems like the car doesn't really like that. I don't like doing that myself. To me, these cars have a certain amount of launches that you can get out of them before something goes wrong. So I don't like wasting a launch on that uh, burnout box, but it looks like it did the trick. So I might have to start doing that from now on. So it is what it is. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the car. Car is running good. Um, the trap speed is consistent. So um, it's it should be a, a low 10 second car, honestly. The 60 foot on that last run was not very good. Um, I'll go ahead and actually pull the slip. I don't think uh, you guys have actually seen it. Officially a 10 second car. The 60 foot, as you can tell, needs work. This should be a 1.5, I wanna say. 65 ran a 1.7 in this Evo before with the with the last setup with the BBK full. But um, yeah, actually, ironically, this is, this is a run against that same GT350 that I first ran last week uh, during, uh, it was my very first run and I didn't launch. It was the same exact GT350, so he got to see. Um, what the Evo is about. All right, guys, take it easy. Uh, stay tuned for more content. Peace.